Dr. Don Hughes is in court today to testify once more and defend Amber Heard. Her stories do not change and everything she's saying is still the same, even when Dr. Shannon Curry proved that she was lying. So yesterday, Dr. Curry already said that Dr. Hughes showed us false results of the test she conducted to probably make everyone believe that Amber has post-traumatic stress disorder. As Johnny Depp's witness, she proved that Amber scored the most points in a test that tells you whether a person is exaggerating or faking symptoms of PTSD. Looking at scores as high as Ms. Heard, and then you're not seeing indications of PTSD in the more subtle tests where she doesn't know what she's endorsing, there's, it's good evidence that her over-endorsement on that one test um, is because of the reason the scale was made to detect exaggeration and feigning of symptoms. Johnny's team ruins Dr. Hughes' argument on trial day 23. Johnny's lawyer comes in hot and suddenly asks if she recognizes what the PTSD checklist is. Do you recognize what's, what the National Center for PTSD is? What it is? Yeah. Yes, I do. And, and they publish um, the PTSD checklist for DSM-5. That's correct. That what we've been calling the PCL-5. Correct. It must have been embarrassing to have him ask that. She claims to be an expert witness after all. The lawyer emphasizes that this test shouldn't be the only one to prove whether a person has PTSD or not. The PCL-5 should not be used as a Sloan diagnostic tool. Considering, when considering a diagnosis, the clinician will still need to use, to use clinical interviewing skills and a recommended structured interview, e.g. He hadn't said anything else after that, but Dr. Hughes proceeded to defend herself. The CAPS-5 to determine a diagnosis, correct? That's what the, that's what the manual says. Right, and this manual okay. also, also says that this is a screening instrument, so when you do the clinical interviewing, you absolutely can determine diagnosis. So the answer somebody. is yes. The manual says you, 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 you still the, need the to PCL use clinical file. interviewing skills, which I used. She wants everyone to know that she used that checklist correctly, and no one can tell her she's wrong. Sounds guilty to us. She then schooled Ben that they should read the manual, but Ben quickly retaliated by asking a rhetorical question. You said that we should read the manual. Would you also agree with me that we need to read the directions on these tests. Dr. Hughes looked taken aback after that. Bet she didn't expect it. Johnny's team presented a photo as a demonstrative and she acted rudely to it, saying that they already talked about this in court. As he was just clarifying what Dr. Hughes instructed Amber to do during one test, she got all defensive again. In front of every single question, how often did this happen in the past year? Correct, and I right. oriented and the individual know, to no, not I limit herself to the last you. year to get an accurate assessment of the violence and abuse that she experienced. She was just talking over the lawyer the whole time. Is she hiding something or not? Well, in her way, her attitude does not sit well with the judge and the jury. Dr. Hughes continues to do this and it becomes obvious that something's wrong. Johnny's lawyer was just asking why it's written in the instructions that Amber should recall events in the past year only when she's been away from Johnny longer than that. Yeah. And you know that at the time that you gave this test to Ms. Heard, she had been away from Mr. Depp for far longer than a year, correct? Which is why I oriented her to a different a yes time no, frame in answering the question. Doctor, yes or no? So of course. Okay. The next demonstrative shown is a sample danger assessment test Amber allegedly answered. Dr. Hughes accidentally revealed that she was actually the one who answered the test for the actress based on the data provided to her. Dr. Hughes, uh, this is a blank form, but this is the dangerous assessment test that you also gave to Ms. Hurd, correct? I didn't give it to her. I filled it out based on the data that was provided to me. Oh, so you, you asked her the questions and then you filled it in? It, it was somewhat collaborative. Okay. Why couldn't she answer it herself like other patients do? These tests specifically say to look over the events of the past year only. Ma'am, it's fair to say that this examin examination that you gave specifically indicates that, it's, that you were supposed to look over the past year. And you... That's, that's not one, the language? No, that's one administration. People use this instrument for if you're in an acute situation in a relationship trying to get a better assessment of the current behaviors. We can use it retrospectively like I just stated. Dr. Don Hughes kept changing the directions so that Amber can qualify as someone who has PTSD. Oh, this was stressful. She was already caught red-handed, yet she kept defending herself. 
Johnny Depp's lawyer made a good point in asking all of those questions. Now we have an idea who Amber's psychiatrist really is. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video.